Hey everyone, welcome to our latest property tour. If you're new here, Summer and I explore some of the most amazing houses throughout the UK. And today you join us in Seven Oaks in Kent. We're gonna be showing you around this property behind me that was built in late 2015 by the owners. So we have around 9,000 square feet in total, six bedrooms, six baths, and it's on a plot of around 0.75 acres in total. Let's start a tour at the front and check this place out. We're gonna do a full walkthrough tour for you. So we've got the double garage here. Now above that, there is actually an annex. Now this is a proper double garage in the sense that you, you can actually fit two modern SUVs in there, as you can see. Let's see what we've got in here. Two cars. We've got the two electric up and over roller doors. And now, as you can see over this side, we've got a ton of off-road parking. And then we have a private electric gate at the front for vehicular access. And then we've got one for pedestrian access as well. This property is listed with million pound homes. So for any more information, check out the details in the description. Here's a look at the front of the house. Obviously we've got the entrance. It's nice and symmetrical. House looks very good, doesn't it? It's a Georgian style build. Let us know down in the comments below what you guys think. You ready? Let's go check it out. All right, we're starting the tour then in the entrance hall inside. We've got the center staircase here. Now from this area is the study. Let's pop the floor plan up on the screen before we get into the tour. So pause and hold if you want to check out the floor plan. Yeah. Now this home office has furniture by Chamber Furniture who are local to the area. Amazing detail. We've got the media system throughout the home so you, you can control the music and everything from an app on your phone then we've got the sash windows at the front of the property finally there's a gas fireplace in the center of the room all right back out into the entrance hall we're going to go across now we've seen the, the main study this is an additional reception room currently used as a kids study which is really cool we've got the matching max get the kids to work yeah great place to do the homework Continuing through here into the main family entertainment space. Now we've got underfloor heating throughout um, and it is fully hard, hard floor through here as well, which is great. And what you notice is a very large center island with the Corian worktop. And now in terms of appliances, it's Gaganau throughout and then a Miele coffee machine. So we've got the Gaganau freezer, very large fridge. And then we've got the ovens, the warming trays and the grill. The induction hob is over here, Gaganau 5 for an induction hob. Then again, we've got more ovens, warming trays and the, the steamer. And then over here, you've got built-in Miele coffee machine. And finally, a Gaganau drinks fridge. So you're really spoiled for space. Um, and then you've got loads of storage throughout the island, soft closed drawers with dishwasher and everything built in here as well. Let's check out the rest of this area. We've got space for a large table in the center. Obviously this layout is completely customizable really to how you want it to be, but it works really well having that section of kitchen, dining, and then obviously we've got a living space here too. And this isn't the only living room. There is another formal living space that we'll show you in a second. From this room, you've got two sets of doors to the south facing garden, which again, we'll show you towards the end of the tour. I like that they've built the TV into, are they cabinets if you open them? Yeah, yeah storage. Doors. Yeah, it works really well. So minimal, no wires on show. Okay, back out through double doors into the reception area. We're gonna go across the hall now, back to the front of the house. Let's just pause and show you guys where we've come out from. So we went in through that door there. Yeah, well remembered summer. It's good to get bearings. And we've come out here. So where are we going next? Let's check out the dining room. That's where I was heading to. So a 12 seater table at the moment. Um, and this is at the front of the property. Again, we've got the big windows there, but what a great space, right? Yeah, this table is very big, but it yeah. fits perfectly. And there's also a drinks, drinks cart. And now, next right is the utility area. This is like the size of most kitchen, well, bigger than most kitchens, to be yeah. fair, in the UK. Um, so a ton of space. Obviously, you've got your appliances, your Miele washer and dryers here, loads of space for ironing boards, cleaning everything that you want, and then storage throughout here as well. Finally, through this door, I know everyone likes to often see all the details. This is the plant room with the hot water cylinders. We've got two of those and a boiler. Okay, now we're gonna show you the main living room through this way. In this living room, we've got handmade coving throughout. We've got the speaker entertainment system as well. 
This chandelier over here is a Murano chandelier and it weighs 180 kilograms. And isn't it welded into? Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to have it welded into like a beam above yeah. as well as it'd be way too heavy for the ceiling. So that's cool. Amazing. There's a gas fire over here. This is similar to one in the study. Then we've also got doors out to the garden from here. So very easy in and outdoor access through all of the rooms at the back. Turn around actually, so I'm gonna take a look at this custom bespoke cabinetry here as well. Yeah, it's gorgeous. This is one of my favorite rooms. I also love how the TV is, is built into here and it's flush. Oh yeah, I actually forgot about the TV in here. I feel like this room you would talk more than watch TV. Yeah, I was just going to say, I know what a lot of you were thinking is, how would you watch TV? But this room is more for hosting, spending time with family, but wait till you see the cinema room. That's where you really watch the movies, so <laughs> stay tuned. All right, back into the entrance hall. Finally, we've got the downstairs that we see. Now let's head upstairs. Continuing up the stairs, we have Crema Marfil stone on the floor. And now we're gonna show you through the first floor where we have five bedroom suites in total. Let's start this way. All right, come on through to one of the largest rooms. We've got a cool little setup over here. That's it. And then also, even in the bedrooms, you have the media system with the speakers, again, that can all be controlled from the app. So you can be watching TV from your bed and controlling all the audio and TV from there. All six bedrooms have their own ensuite. Yeah, this one has a shower and a bath. And then here's the walk-in shower. Wait till you guys see the main bedrooms yeah. shower head. Incredible. <laughs> all of these rooms, are fantastic sizes. You could have very easily put an extra one to two bedrooms in this house, but because it was built by the owners to their specific needs, they chose more space. And you'll also notice great head height as well, bearing in mind I'm pretty tall. It's very comfortable. Yeah, for anyone new here, Matt is around six three, six four. I know I say that in every video. <laughs> yeah, we need to decide. Here, we need to decide how tall I am. Yeah, I'm not sure. We need to measure you. Yeah, here's the ensuite. Now throughout the en suites um, through the house, there's a combination of marble and porcelain. And we've got marble in the master suite in a couple of the guest bedrooms, and then porcelain in um, two of the other rooms. Okay. Finally, we've got storage cupboard here. Look at the size of these lights. Wow. You've comfortably got enough room on this landing as well to perhaps have a nice sofa area here. Yeah, a nice chair would be good. Yeah. And talking about the windows, these were by Mumford & Wood, a um, famous company for timber windows. Oh wow, that's a good view. Nice pretty window. It's a lovely view. It's a really quiet street, this actually. Okay, moving on to the next guest bedroom. Also got a room of grand proportions, built-in wardrobes, and over there's the ensuite. So I believe the two guest suites, as Matt said, this is all marble, and the kids' bedrooms are porcelain. Yeah. And they're likely to get more wear and tear, so it makes sense. Okay, we're heading over to the next bedroom. Now maybe in the comments below, you can uh, let me know which bedroom you would choose if you were to live here, if you couldn't have the master. Okay, here's the ensuite for this room. This is cute. Okay, so both of the kids, they have their own bath and shower, and shower which is nice. And then the sink and mirrors on the side. Yeah, no fighting over the sinks and showers. <laughs> We've got touchpad controls again for the media and the heat miser. I quite like in this room how that there is curved. You've got the curve there and I also noticed that same thing in the dining room. It's nice, I agree. Wow, this view from the stairs from this angle looks incredible. Yeah. Okay, we've got the master bedroom to show you guys now. We sure have, let's go. Wait, Matt, what's in here? Um, maybe Aaron go it. Oh wow, bigger than I thought. Yeah, this, this space is really cool. So this is the master suite, obviously where we have fantastic bedroom space, but that's not all. So let's walk through to the dressing area, which is like another bedroom, or in fact, the size of a studio apartment. Wow. This is the size of 
our bedroom <laughs> yeah. in their dressing room. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wow. wow, real nice. So I'm not going to go through the wardrobe, so obviously you've got loads and loads of space. Um, and you've got the filtration system for air through here, same media system. I love how big this mirror is. Yeah, this well. would be a great place to get ready in the yeah. morning. Okay, so now we've seen this side of this bedroom. I'm going to go show you the ensuite. Again, it's marble throughout here. Check out how big this bath is, how much space you have between the bath and the shower. Uh, and obviously the size of the shower itself with that huge rainfall head in the center. Get in the shower. Get I want to see what the know. size is. Whoa. Look how big that shower head is. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. And then on this side, we have dual sinks. Yeah. Yeah, top quality throughout, which is great. Okay, we've taken a look at the ground floor. Obviously, most of the way you spend your time First floor bedrooms, but still a lot to see on the next floor. We've got a gym and a cinema room. Let's go check it out. Oh, look what I just found. Is there? Oh, the iPad. Yeah, for the So media. this may be where you can control all the lights yeah. and other bits and bobs. Similar to when you come up onto the first floor, you've got two options, two staircase to each side of the second floor. Let's start at the gym. Here's the gym, very ideal for the lockdown that we've had. You certainly got enough space in this gym to have uh, you know, a good amount of equipment. Let's show you guys a sneak peek of the garden. We'll go outside soon. Yeah, this would have been a nice gym. Yeah. To be honest, I probably still wouldn't use it that much, <laughs> but it's good to have. Yeah, it's really good. And then over here, for those that want all the details, you have a storage space in here too. And back into the hallway, we've got an upstairs WC. Suitcase storage. Now the cinema is through here. Wow. Let's sit down, see what it would be like. Comfy, we've got an Epson projector um, and a really large screen over there. So this is where you want to come if you want to watch a movie and then downstairs living rooms are more for chatting, right? And when you get hungry, you just have to come over here to get your snacks rather than going down to the kitchen. That's it. Have all your snacks in these drawers, some yeah. drinks. This is a resin on the back. And the section at the back of the cinema is slightly raised, of course, like it would be. Hey, wait, does this chair decline? Recline. <laughs> I'm getting a massage. Are you? Yeah. No way. Yeah. So these are massage chairs. Yeah, wait. I think I can see ya. <laughs> that is incredibly comfortable. It's actually a full body massage as well. No way. Yeah, you gotta try it. I think I won't get off if I get in the chair. Okay, should we, should we go into the garden now? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments later, Okay, I've finished that now. Perfect. Okay, sorry about that. Let's carry on. <laughs> what we've got to see now, garden, right? And the um, flat above the garage. Yeah, we've got the annex in the garden. Okay, let's go. We're back out the front of the property and we're going to check out um, upstairs in the garage first where we've got the annex, like we mentioned. So come through behind the cars. As I mentioned earlier, you really can fit two modern SUVs in here, as well as having lots of storage space at the back. So if you didn't want to have to go through the garage, you can come through this entrance here. You have the alarm system in here as well. Here we have a kitchenette, kitchen area with still me appliances, an oven, a fridge, a grill, and a washing machine. And then we've got the main bedroom area over here. It's a really large bedroom and you also have wardrobes on that wall. And finally, the ensuite shower room through there. All right, let's go take a look at the house from the back garden. Um, we've got a beautiful day today so we can look back at the house with blue skies. Hey, 
Here's the side access from the front, and then if you turn around, you can see the door into the garage and also the annex. You've got air conditioning, actually, um, in this house as well, which I know is quite popular with many. Honestly, one of my favorite parts of this house is actually this outdoor barbecue area. Yeah, it's really nice, and the patio yeah. to eat. It's the simple things, and I think this is awesome. It's a very private south-facing garden. There's actually two tables out here, yeah. and also two sunbeds in the middle. Yeah, this patio area is, is lovely. It also yeah. goes round the side, down this way. Oh, okay, so there's the cars that we were parked out the front. I quite like how this bit is raised. Yeah. You're lower down. Yeah, then it's just a few steps down to the main garden. So in the garden, as you can see over to the right-hand side, we have an outbuilding, um, fully brick built. So you could have a separate office in there, and maybe a jacuzzi or something nice. Here's a look at the garden. There is no house directly behind you. And from here, you've got the Kent Downs all the way around. So from the top of the house, you can actually see people walking all the way up there. That brings us to the end of this tour. Hope you enjoyed taking a look around this house with us. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Again, any more information for the listing um, for sales inquiries, it will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.